What's a nice place like you doing and a girl like this? We've seen movie scenes like this many times. It's when two characters who will later become romantically entwined meet for the first time. Scott! What? Often, their meeting happens in a comedic or cute way. Bummer. It's time to put balls in holes. And that's why it's called a meet cute. Me and this guy are having a meet cute. <laughs> Here you go, sir. The meet cute is a staple within the romantic comedy subgenre. Well, have a great night. Okay, you Thanks too. I'll, I'll see you later. No, I won't, because I'm a pussy. The lovers to be need to meet at some point, and this initial encounter will set the stage for the rest of the relationship. Sorry. I said I love the Smiths. There are countless ways to approach writing a meet cute. A pull pull. Push push. Push pull. Or neutral nervous. But what are the rules to writing a compelling meet cute? We'll be using Studio Binder's free screenwriting software to see how these meet cutes get written on the page. Before we jump in, make sure to subscribe below and click the bell icon to stay in the loop. We begin with option one, the pull-pull. This is when both characters are equally and instantly drawn to each other. And is there a more perfect example than Romeo and Juliet? In Baz Luhrmann's remake of the classic, we have a scene without dialogue. But the performances give us all the information we need. It works, but the challenge with Pull Pull is that love at first sight isn't the most realistic occurrence. But most importantly, it doesn't create much conflict. And conflict is drama. Your mother calls! In this particular example, the conflict comes very quickly after their first encounter. What? There's that slave come hither to fleer and scorn at our solemnity? Now, by the stock and honor of my kin, to strike him dead, I hold it not a sin. Once they realize they belong to rival families. Is she a Capulet? His name is Romeo. And he's a Montague, the only son of your great enemy. So, if you're going to write a meet cute that's a pull pull, make sure you have conflict lined up for the characters. Drama and conflict are exactly what we get with our second option, the push-push. In this scenario, the characters start as far away from love as possible. Let's look at an example from La La Land to see how antagonism changes the romantic dynamics. Mia and Sebastian actually have two quick encounters before their official meet-cute. Once on the freeway, and once after she attempts to compliment his playing. I just heard you play, and I wanted to... The result of those negative encounters is what fuels Mia's revenge at the pool party. Any other requests? Girl in the front. I ran. I ran a fantastic suggestion. All right, piano man, tickle those ivories. Let's hit it. One, two, three, four! <laughs> Uh. 
Sebastian confronts her, and we get some clever and humorous verbal sparring. I remember you, and I'll admit I was a little curt that night. Curt? Okay, I was an asshole. I can admit that. Okay. But requesting Iran from a serious musician is just, it's too far. My lord, did you just say a serious musician? I don't think so. Can I borrow what you're wearing? Why? Because I have an audition next week. I'm playing a serious firefighter. So you're an actress. I thought you looked familiar. Have I seen you in anything? Uh, the coffee shop on the Warner Brothers lot. That's a classic. Oh, I see. Yeah. You're a barista. And I can see how you could then look down on me from all the way up there. I'm done. Next set. He doesn't, I don't, he doesn't tell me what to do. He just told you what to I do. I know, he, I let him. What's your name? Mia. Mia. I guess I'll see you in the movies. What works about this example is how the personal attacks might seem playful. My lord, did you just say a serious musician? So you're an actress. I thought you looked familiar. Have I seen you in anything? But these characters are deeply invested in getting their careers off the ground. They are both unsure about their career prospects this uncertainty is probably what sparks their mutual attraction. So, as you approach writing this type of meet-cute scene, allow the scene to reveal deeper aspects to the character's personality. Guess I'll see you in the movies. In our previous examples, the couple had either a mutual attraction or repulsion. But what happens when one pulls and the other pushes? Is the hero awkwardly infatuated? Is their love interest cold and unresponsive? In this example from Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the character dynamics couldn't be more opposed. Hey, what's up? Nothing. Hey, you know Pac-Man? I know of him. A surefire way to communicate this type of meet-cute scene is an awkward conversation. Well, Pac-Man was originally called Puck-Man. They changed it because, uh, not because Pac-Man looks like a hockey puck. Paku Paku means flap your mouth. And that they were worried people would change, scratch out the P, turn it into an F, like. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Uh... Am I dreaming? I'll leave you alone forever now. Thanks. As you're writing, keep in mind that the push-pull option allows room for many different characters and scenarios. It gives a protagonist like Scott a challenge that he must overcome. Basically, you can't win this fight, so you're gonna have to give up on this girl because Todd's gonna kill you. <laughs> We've reached our final meet cute, the neutral nervous. In a typical example, the protagonist is overwhelmed and either stumbles over their lines or literally stumbles. <laughs> Meanwhile, the object of their interest remains either neutral or completely oblivious to the situation. Let's look at a great example from Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Hi. I'm sorry? I just said hi. Hi, hello. Hi. Okay, if I sit closer. How far are you going? Uh, Rockville Center. Get out. Me too. Really? What are the odds? Do I know you? Do you ever shop at Barnes & Noble? Sure. That's it! Yeah? I've seen you, man! Oh. Jesus. I would thought I would remember five you. Years? It might be the hair. What might? It changes a lot, the color. That's why you might not recognize me. It's called Blue Ruin. Right. Snappy name, huh? I like it. 
their opposing personalities are laid out. If Clementine wasn't such an extrovert, their romance would never happen. When you're writing your meet-cute, remember that it all starts with the characters. If your protagonist is an introvert like Joel, the nervous neutral tends to be a great option. As you're writing your script, consider just how important the meet-cute is. The meeting should lay the foundation for the entire relationship. It should be memorable or exciting, but above all things, it should reflect their character traits. Uh, it's 10.33. What? Consider which meet-cute option best suits your characters and the tone you are aiming for. Choosing between a pull-pull, push-push, push-pull, or neutral nervous will allow to set them off in the correct direction. Check the description to sign up for Studio Binder's screenwriting software. It's free to get started. And subscribe to our channel below. Click the bell icon for notifications and follow us on our Instagram page. When it comes down to writing that first romantic encounter, there's only one bit of advice you need. What do you do if every time you see this one incredible woman, you, you think you're gonna hurl? I say hurl. If you blow chunks and she comes back, she's yours. If you spew and she bolts, it was never meant to be.